The Prime Minister was responding to allegations that his approach to governing the country mirrors that of a dictator. He sought to set the record straight. He said if that was the case, then the bills, particularly the fixed date for elections bill, would have removed some of the powers of the Prime Minister. However, with that bill being rejected by the vote, Dr. Mitchell, in a sarcastic tone, thanked those who instigated the outcome. I am saying, let's decide on a fixed date. So you have equal say. You tell me, no, I don't want it. And you call me a dictator. And you say you won. You won what? Kit Mitchell alone should determine the date. Thank you then. I say thank you so very much. Dr. Mitchell criticized the fact that a political stance was taken that influenced the outcome of the referendum. He believes the entire country has lost in the process. But it appears that people took a non-responsive position, period, no matter what it's on. Because although the, in, in totality, the people did vote for, for it in Karakou, but not in the kind of numbers that you would have expected, but don't forget the opposition told people, forget this thing. So it obviously the extreme supporters of the opposition, if 30% of the people went out, the opposition mobilized their, their, few, their few percentage, right? They mobilized them. Because I saw people toting people election during the day and I couldn't understand it because I told nobody. With regards to the fear that the Rights and Freedoms Bill will promote gay marriage, Dr. Mitchell had this to say. And in conversation with several ministers of government, and I won't name them because it wouldn't be fair. I asked them, suppose under the present constitution today we have, suppose two women got married in Grenada. They say they get married. And they went to the registry to certify it, to, to put it doc, document it. The registry said, I can't do it because the law doesn't allow me. They appeal, they appeal to the they take it to court, the high court. The, uh, the high court may say, you don't have that right. They go to the Supreme Court of the OECS. They may also support the state's official position. They go to the Privy Council. Bet your life, that Privy Council that we say we like will tell us they are married. Strange enough, you never hear that argument. Prime Minister Mitchell says he feels strongly, now that the process has started, the discussions should continue. Colin Campbell, GBN News.